This tip is going to show you how to create your own custom search engine using multiple website resources for a class assignment. So if your students are studying any sort of topic, instead of telling them to go Google it or posting a bunch of links on Google Classroom, what you're going to do is be able to find a bunch of resources you think would be beneficial for your students and create a custom search engine for students to actually self-direct and search for themselves. By, but also picking up good resources in the process by searching. So how do I do this? In the Google search page, I will go to this apps button, go to more, and click on even more from Google. When you get to this page, you're going to see a variety of different types of apps, but if you scroll down to the bottom, you should see specialized search. And there should be an area that says custom search. From here, I'm going to press create a custom search engine. In this area, you'll be you'll be adding all different types of websites of pages you want students to search from. So any you can put as many as you want here. So if I find any website that would make a lot of sense to what my students should be searching about, I just keep on pasting them into here. Once I have pasted a tremendous amount of websites, and you can keep on going to here, once I have pasted them all into here, all I need to do is give it a name of the search engine. So I'm going to call this one Regions, because this is a particular unit that some of our students may be using. So I'm going to do that and press Create. Okay, at this point, now anytime I go to Custom Search underneath my own account, I should hit, be able to add it to my site, view it on the web, or modify my search engine. So if I need to add any more, I could always modify. But here where it says view on the web, if I go to and I click on public URL, in this search box here, I could search for anything. So if I was searching for, so let's say, let's do Arctic. It's now going to search a bunch of resources that's helpful for me. So it's going to pull from all the ones I put on there that's going to be more reputable. And this is really handy because I know it's going to be safe. I know it's going to be uh, somewhat limited to a certain amount of pages instead of billions of pages I'll have limited to resources that I know that might be helpful for our students and it'll help us kind of narrow down their research. So how do I add this, how do I give this to the kids, right? So what I would do is once I have created this and I think that this is just fine, I am going to copy the link of my custom search engine that I've created. And I have many different ways. I could go to an assignment that I had and I could add it as a link right here. So that when I assign it and I have any sort of assignment that's posted on my stream, the students actually go to could actually hit Google Custom Search and then they could search based off of what they're looking for. Another area is that if this is a search engine you use consistently, maybe the about section in your classroom might be very helpful and you could add your own custom search engine here. So we call it our classroom search. So there's a few options in being able to post it. It's a really, really awesome tool that um, it's probably been around for a while, but I think it'd be very helpful for everybody to use. Uh, whether you're working with younger kids or even older kids that need a little bit more direction, but you want to give them that opportunity to be able to research. So enjoy.